are in Woodland Hills and Woodland Village in the creme de la creme of Bloemfontein High Society at Market Things. We are here at a very upmarket art gallery um, framework um, and we are here with the owner, the artist, the visionary, the entrepreneur, the businessman. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about his art, about his inspiration, and about him as a man. Hi, welcome. Tell us who you are. Hi, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for the warm, uh, for the illustrious, uh, you know, introduction. It's my pleasure. I think I am so inspired by you. Thank you so much. This place is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, know? you so much. Um, what can I say? I, I, I'm inspired by, by you, you know, I'm inspired by your hair, I'm inspired by your dress code, and I'm inspired by your energy as an African. Um, and I think that's what inspires me the most. It's everyday people, you know, the people that um, walk into the shop, the people that I encounter. Um, for the longest time, I would say that I do not have a, a, an iconic figure that I look up to, uh, that I aspire to be like. It's, my heroes are the people that I meet every day, you know, uh, because there's so much uniqueness and, and, and uh, that you find in every day people. I think that's why my, my aunt speaks about just normal people, you know, and, and the human figure. I, I'm intrigued by the human spirit and human beings and people. Everyday people, yeah. Those are my heroes. I'm inspired by you, by your outfit. That's why I said to you that never buy my outfit. That's why I said to you that I want to look like this. You know, this is how I want to look when I wake up in the morning. And um, I think I'm a modern man, even if people can. No, this is a unique so, thing. Yes, yes. It is to to me. It's, I mean, look at it, it represents the, the the charcoal that I work with. The charcoal. The black and white, you know, mm -hmm. colors. So I identify with it a lot. What do you What do you say to a young African artist who is caught between making commercial art that will sell, that is of sad faces or happy faces, or how we are expected to be seen mm -hmm. on privileged walls, on white walls? compared to a young African artist who has something important to tell but cannot penetrate that message, cannot commercialize that message and you still need to make money of your art. You know oh, what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I would say to, to my fellow artists, mm -hmm. for a, there's nothing that, that art is, is, is true. What sells in art is, is, is true. It's things that people can connect to. I don't have pretty pictures. I've been challenged. But when I had people who um, came into the gallery who are selling um, pieces for millions and for 800,000 and 500,000 who came to me and said, you should sell this. And I said, no. Because um, from the beginning, the reason why I have the gallery is because I don't want to be owned. That's why my work is not at other galleries. Because then they're going to start telling me what I need to do, paint, what the time wants. Yeah. I'm an artist. Yeah. I am the, the, the artist is supposed to be the conscience of society. And people buy art because they connect with it. Yes. Because it, it has an element of reality. Or um, and, uh, they see it's a reflection of themselves or something that resonates with them. We're in Bloomington. And when I came in here earlier, you were saying, you know, you have noticed that we don't have a culture of love and appreciation of art in the city, in Bloomington. I know even as a theatre lover and a theatre goer, the theatres are empty. So there's just a lack of interest. As artists, we're supposed to support individual society and community for them to understand why they need us. But you were mentioning earlier that we are maybe not doing our job properly if the community doesn't know why they need art, why they need our messages, how we can change their lives. So what are we going to do? We must, I thought it shocking. 
Uh-huh. So we don't have that. I've been to all the galleries. My work could not be. They said I'm a dark soul. They said my work is too dark. They said it's not pictures that you can put on your wall. Maybe I said now I'm a bit more refined. But my pieces are a bit dark. Uh-huh. Even this piece that looks so. Sorry, I'm playing. Oh my goodness, I'm terrible. It's okay. Um, this piece that looked. I had a lady walk in here and say, "This is such a beautiful piece, but it looks so dark." It looks like the Joker. We can have a mask for it, mm. So, yes, my pieces have a bit of darkness, but I think that's how you make pieces: light and darkness. Mm. You can't just have pretty pictures of uh, only uh, flowers, you know, the whole time, because that's not the reality of life. People can't connect to um, unrealistic uh, pictures, you know. Yeah. That 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 then does not become art. It just becomes. Um, you know, it's 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 not reality. It's not. It doesn't connect. So we need to create shocking pieces. People need to come and stand outside and say they're gonna burn my shop. You know, that's the type of art. That's what happened to artists. Artists, there, there need to be protests of people trying to come and uh, hide those pieces. You know, because they're too shocking. Well, but that's how we get people into art. Until people understand, for art cannot be censored. Art is. It's, 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 it's views, it's, it's freedom of speech, it's free minds, it, you know, it's expression. We have a lot of people who have a lot of creativity and a lot of things that they want to say, but we don't have conversations. Bloemfontein people do not speak. We, we are conservative, but we have private thoughts, we don't talk about issues that we have as, 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 as a society. That holds the economy, it holds everything. So it, it, it because un, un, because it means it creates this bubble, you know, of people who do not live in the reality, can't connect to things that are happening now. Even business connects to that because your idea, if you're too conservative and you don't go on that leap of faith and execute it, you will never know if the business will work or not. And so we, yeah, the culture needs to change. We as artists need to be at the forefront. We need to go back to art and create shock, shock them to success, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we need to be, refi- what, what do you call them, fibrillators? Say that uh, when the chest is flat and you just need to put in the electricity. But yeah, 